Did you know, statistically speaking, that most people stop working out within three months of starting? Talking about that statistics that I just said, it can be pretty depressing, so I don't want to start out with that large number. I want to be positive in this video. I want to encourage you to move your body as often as possible, preferably daily. It can be a daunting experience, to be honest with you, to get started on a fitness journey. There is so many things out there that are bombarding us on a daily basis. You should be this thin. You should be doing this. You should be eating that. You should be doing this gym workout. You should be doing this at home. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. It's overwhelming. And to be honest, it's far too much. So here are five simple things that helped me, and I hope in turn they help you. Number one, just start. That could mean walking. Just move your body. There's a psychology around just starting. And it's not even focusing on the just because starting is huge. Starting, that's where you're at. You're going to start. Speaking of starting, when you have a savings account, for example, and you put $5 in, what are you going to wish that $5 was automatically $5,000? No, it incrementally takes time to reach from your $5 to your $5,000 in savings. Same goes for fitness. You can't just go to a 30 minute workout, a 10 minute workout, a 15 minute workout, and wake up the next day in your, in your ideal situation, whatever that means for you. It's going to take time, consistency, and determination, and stick to itiveness, and you can do it. Just start. Number two, what's your why? And you know what? I really don't like it when people say that. It's like, what's your why? Oh, <laughs> well, your why could mean something as simple as I want to feel good in my own skin. I want to fit into the jeans that I fit into a year ago. I want to look a certain way. I want to feel a certain way about myself. I want to be able to pick up my grandchildren. I want to be able to get up and down on and off the floor. I want to have longer viability. I want to have flexibility. I want to have some upper body strength. There's a plethora of reasons what your why could be for you. You determine what that why is and go from there. Three, what do you enjoy? Do more of that. Do you hate yoga? Do you love yoga? Do you hate going to the gym? work out at home. Do what you love and just keep doing it and do more of it. Let's start perhaps walking. See if you like that. If you do, do more of it. Do you like swimming? Do you like playing tennis? Pickleball's huge right now. Do you like rebounding, cardio, strength training, cardio kickboxing? Do you like jumping rope? Whatever the case may be, Whatever it is that you like and enjoy doing, do more of that. Because if you're doing the things that you don't enjoy, you're not going to want to come back. Four, what are you consuming? Not just in terms of food. What messages are coming in from the outside? What are you watching on TV? What movies are you watching? What books are you reading? What podcasts are you listening to? What kind of people are you hanging around with? All these things that you're consuming on a daily basis is going to play a huge role in where you're going to be going from A to Z. Hang around with like-minded people. Find people at your local gym or a girlfriend that can come over to your house and work out with you. There is something in the buddy system that's pretty cool. Outside influences, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all those things, you are being bombarded way more than you can probably realize with messages, subliminal thoughts, subliminal messages on a daily, hourly, probably by the minute basis, and it is overwhelming. 
I would highly recommend that you try and focus on things that are going to keep pushing you in the direction that you want to go. When you find your niche of something that you like, you're going to do more of it. You're going to surround yourself with like-minded people and you're going to try and push out the bad. And you're going to do more of the good of what makes you feel good. Number five, follow YouTubers like me or somebody else that you like, somebody that encourages you, that you enjoy doing their workouts, that you want to come back to on a regular basis. And by the way, while you're there, not just for me, any YouTuber that you happen to follow, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Those are all free things that you can do and how you can participate in helping that particular channel grow and get picked up on the algorithm and gets recommended to more people that they might in turn subscribe as well. Pay attention to what is being consumed through the body, through the mind, pay attention to it. It's all relevant. It's all important. And it, it will define your trajectory. Believe it or not, if you're in a positive playing field, if you're with like-minded people, you are more likely to keep up with what you've started than to be around people that are poo-pooing your progress or questioning what you're doing. Hang around with like-minded people. Maybe put the other people off to the side for a little while. Once you find your groove and once you find what works for you and you start seeing progress, whatever that is for you, whether it's your clothes are fitting better, your waist is a little smaller, you're just feeling an overall glow and better about yourself, that's the sweet spot right there. You are going to stick with it once that change starts. But it's not going to start in the first 12 hours, 24 hours, or even a week. You have to stick with it. But I promise you, when you start seeing those sweet spots happen, oh my gosh, you will keep going. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope these things help you out. Please, as I said before, like, share, comment, and kindly subscribe. I will see you in the next video.